Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mary Greeley News. A minor 1.9 earthquake struck just one kilometer northeast of Howardville, Missouri yesterday, um, September 8th at 1.08 p.m. Universal Time or 8.08 a.m. Local Time. You can see it's not far from the Menard County Central High School. A little scary. I don't think school or any students would have been there. There might have been teachers, um, different facility members. This is part of the active New Madrid Seismic Zone, and it puts a spotlight on the town of New Madrid and its infamous fault system. It's famous for its earthquakes that it had in 1811, 1812. You can see right here, um, there was a magnitude... 7.4, I believe it was, yeah. Another thing I want to bring up is all this discoloration that you see in the soil. That is from the 1811-1812 earthquake blowholes, where you got a mixture of water and sand that blew up out of the ground. And there's many areas that you can see where this occurred. So it wasn't just giant fissures that opened up. Yeah, they had sand blowholes. According to the USGS, the 1.9 hit at a depth of 8.9 kilometers. So that would be about 5.3 miles. And it was centered near Howardville, just 10 miles south of the city in the town of New Madrid, Missouri. This minor quake is one of many in the New Madrid seismic zone. Quakes below a magnitude 2.5 are typically only detected by seismometers, and there is often never a report of damage or injuries, um, you know, during such a small event. However, this event underscores the activity of the fault beneath New Madrid, a town synonymous with seismic history. Um, let's dive into what the residents experience and, you know, make these faults, um, so significant. Did anyone feel this magnitude 1.9? Uh, the USGS notes that the earthquake of this magnitude are rarely felt by people unless you're really earthquake sensitive. Um, yeah, but they are picked up by the instruments. Uh, no confirmed felt reports have surfaced for the Howardville event. But the USGS encourages people to exp um, to share their experiences. Viva the Did You Feel It uh, tool at USGS.gov. These reports help scientists understand how quakes affect communities, even in a town like New Madrid, where minor tremors are part of life. If you were near Howardville or New Madrid yesterday, uh, visit the USGS site and you know, or put a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these earthquakes. This is an area where the fault has broken. It's called a locked block, um, part of the fault system. And you can see by the river, the Mississippi River, how it um, goes up and around towards the north. Yeah, that block is slowly moving towards the north. It has uh, become separated from the, the fault zone that extends from north to south. Drawn out in blue that I have here is the real foot fault system. I got quite a few faults drawn out here. Yeah, and you can see this area here. My goodness, they have a lot of earthquakes on this side of the fault zone. It's actually a much wider fault zone than uh, what is drawn out. But yeah, this side of the Mississippi, yeah, it's really seismically active. The New Madrid seismic zone spanning southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas, and parts of Tennessee and Kentucky is one of the most seismically active regions in the U.S. Named after the town of New Madrid, it is infamous for the 1811-1812 earthquakes, estimated to be between a 7.8, 2 and 8. There was actually a series of um, five quakes during that time. 
and it's mapped out here along the Mississippi. The fault zones are very complex with multiple branches buried beneath um, the Mississippi River sediment, making them hard to study at the surface. In 2025, the region has seen 94 earthquakes up to a magnitude 2.7 within 100 kilometers of the New Madrid this year. Experts say these uh, quakes are normal but serve as a reminder of the zone's potential for larger events. Residents are urged to maintain emergency kits and review quake safety as the faults remain unpredictable. So putting this recent earthquake in perspective, I have a bar chart here for earthquakes this year for the New Madrid seismic zone. This 1.9 you can see is pretty small compared to the next size up, which was in Dyersburg, Tennessee on March 20th, was a 2.8. January 3rd, Steely, Missouri, they had a 2.9. Then um, Bloomfield, Missouri, a magnitude 3. And another one for Steely, Missouri, a magnitude 3.7. While the 1.9 quake was minor, the New Madrid Fault's history reminds us to stay vigilant and you can always check out different earthquakes there at usgs or subscribe to my channel because i report these quakes as you know i i find them that's the latest that i have for you the 1.9 near howardville and the faults beneath new madrid mississippi just a reminder that this area is still highly active yeah and a lot of people bring up and ask about volcanoes yeah there is an ancient volcano in this area it's called Hicks Dome it's north of the New Madrid seismic zone yeah and there's actually a dike intrusion that can be seen on the ground from the eruption of Hicks Dome this area is an ancient rift where the United States was at one time going to divide up split apart so that's why we have the, the magma intrusion if you want to know more about Hicks Dome, you can always do a Google search there in Missouri. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for you. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, please share my videos. Um, please add in a comment. That will help with the ranking. And I do read all the comments. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.